So tell me about how you found out about BeatStars because I remember a very specific moment, and I, I I don't I don't forget specific moments much. So I'll probably always remember this moment. Um, I saw a video of you. People probably thought we paid you to do it, but we didn't. I didn't even know who you were, but it was right. probably a good year and a half ago, maybe I'd say, mm -hmm. maybe two. I don't, I'm not sure exactly, but I saw a video of you on YouTube um, doing a review of BeatStars, um, and obviously it was a good review, so I like that. Um, so I, I, I think I reached out to you and we started talking. So you were on BeatStars, so how did you? Mm -hmm. I guess how did you find out about it? I'm, I'm curious, kind of how you stumbled upon it or found out about it, and you know, kind of what made you, you know, join and what you know made you gravitate towards it. Right. So, you know, like uh, school of YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was starting out, like first and foremost, I wasn't that confident about posting like my music yet. But I was like, yo, if, if I don't do it now, it's probably just going to sit in my computer for like ever. Yep. And prior to BeatStars, I was starting to post my beats up on SoundCloud, like the usual SoundCloud YouTube. But I'm like, OK, well, there's like no payment portal here. So how is anyone going to buy this? So. I kind of went and tried to reinvent the wheel by making my life harder and having like my own website. And um, I try to like host, uh, I don't know, like I was putting like MP3s and like waves up on there, but it was like a yeah. single transaction type of thing. It was like no way, shape or form close to like having the track outs already or like even just having like a platform to like steadily play the music without everything getting all clunky. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, why am I trying to make my life harder for myself? There's already a beat stars. There's already like, um, what's the other one? Like Arab and stuff like that. And I was like, let me go check out like what beat stars got going on. So I saw like how easy it is to go buy things from there and just like utilizing like the tags that you guys have for like songs. So I was like, it's already all here. So why, mm -hmm. why don't I just like hop in? And then when I did, I tried it out and like already like, just having interactions on that website and just having like a household name like BeatStars, it's just a lot easier versus someone like, oh, who is Antoinette Lene? And like, oh, yep. what are these beats here? You know? So that's how I got into it. No, oh, that's dope. That's really interesting. Um, and I, I think it's important. You pointed out that you kind of try to, I guess, reinvent the wheel. And I'm not like actually against reinventing the wheel, like more power to somebody if they want to build their own website, their own player, their own all this, like, dude, more power to you, because I know how much goes into it and how insane it is to run something like this at the scale it's yeah. being run at. So, um, <laughs> but my advice would be why, like you said, try to invent, reinvent the wheel when you have everything there for you for, in my opinion, a uh, a price or a structure of that's underpriced <laughs> i think it's i think it's too cheap but <laughs> um but yeah but I, th I think that's interesting so you kind of tested things out and then you kind of you know kind of found a home here and i think that's what the cool part of it you get the community you get the marketplace there's so many people there shopping um and then you build relationships like i would have never found you probably well i don't want to say never because i maybe would have found you some other way but mm -hmm. the odds are you know, a lot worse than what had what happened right so i was able right. to find you because of something that you did and that's how we've built a relationship and have stayed in touch now for a year and a half or you know whatever the timing is so i think that's another important point for everybody in the chat is just to realize that relationships even small interactions can lead to things that grow in the future you know i have people i'm still talking to 15 20 years in this business that we still keep in touch and still do stuff together so just keep that in mind you know we want to cross the bridges not burn them um yeah. <laughs>